Hello, I'm Esther Olaosho from Air Investment Managers. Join me as I walk you through the key highlights of the financial market for January 2024. Starting with domestic macroeconomic updates, we see that the National Bureau of Statistics reported that in December 2023, headline inflation rose to 28.92% from 28.2% in November 2023. Food inflation increased to 33.92% and core inflation reached 23.06%. On a month-on-month -month basis, headline inflation rose to 2.29%, with food inflation at 2.72%, and core inflation at 1.82%. Contributing to these rises were the increases in prices of oil, food, and transportation. The Central Bank of Nigeria has removed the cap on exchange rates set for international money transfer operators. Previously, International money transfer operators had to quote rates within a specific range, but now they can set rates based on market demand. Additionally, the CBN has imposed new rules on how banks handle foreign currency. Starting February 1, 2024, banks are limited to a maximum short position of 20% or a zero long position of their shareholders' funds unimpaired by losses. These changes aim to promote market driven exchange rates and increase foreign exchange liquidity in Nigeria. Moving on to the equities market. In January 2024, the Nigerian stock market had a strong start, continuing the upward trend from the previous year. The NGX All Share Index exceeded 100,000 points, reaching 101,154.13 points, a significant jump from December 2023. This was driven by gains in 18 out of 22 trading days, with trading sentiment mostly positive. Trading volume and value also saw substantial increases compared to December 2023. Overall, the market gained 35.28% compared to the previous month. Despite fixed income yields rising, investor confidence remained high, leading to increased trading and strategic investment in high dividend stocks ahead of earnings announcement for 2023. Most sectors we monitored saw positive returns, except for the banking sector, which declined by 3.37% compared to the previous month. The industrial goods sector notably surged by 107.86%, and this was led by impressive gains in companies like Dangote Cement, which increased by 138.51% in the month, Boas Cement, which increased by 78.35% in the month, and Triple G, which increased by 71.16% in the month. It is also worth noting that the acquisition of significant shares in Dankote Cement by business mogul Femio Tedala contributed to the positive sentiments in this sector. Following closely by the consumer goods sector, which increased by 24.33% in the month, the insurance sector, which increased by 6.24% in the month, and the oil and gas sector, which increased by 19.96% in the month. Moving on to the fixed income market, in January 2024, the Nigerian fixed income market had a rough start as average yields went up across the board. For MGM bonds, the average yields rose by 0.36% compared to the previous month, reaching 14.49%. Treasury bills also saw a significant increase of 2.86%, settling at 9.15%. Overall, the Naira fixed income market experienced a 1.61% increase, closing at 11.82%. The rise in yield in the fixed income market reflects on one hand the tighter financial system liquidity and on the other, the continued emphasis by the CBN on their preference for elevated interest rate environment as part of the overall measures to manage the economy. During the month, the Debt Management Office, the DMO, auctioned 360 billion Naira worth of bonds we opening four instruments the March 2027, April 2029, June 2032, and the June 2038 at 90 billion naira each. Investors bought 418 billion naira of these bonds, but demand was lower compared to the previous auction. The average marginal rate also dropped slightly by 0.32% to 15.75%. Meanwhile, the secondary bond market saw higher yields driven by selling pressure, especially in the March 2024, the March 2027, and the April 2029 bonds. The market started strong due to increased liquidity, but turned bearish later as the central bank conducted auctions to reduce liquidity. The January 2024 NTB auction rates 
dropped significantly by 4.40% to 6.46%, with bid to cover ratio decreasing by 43.83% to 18.07x. So options were held and both were fully subscribed. At the first auction on January 10th, rates fell to 5.02%, with bid to cover ratio rising to 20.16x. The final auction on January 24th, saw rates climb to 7.90% with bid to cover ratio dropping to 4.69x. In the secondary market, average yields rose to 9.15% from 6.29% in December. Weekly, selling pressure in the third and fourth weeks of said buying in the first and second weeks. Ahead of the 293rd Monetary Policy Committee meeting, bill for February 2024, the CBN held three open market operation auctions in January. The first auction on January 10, 2024 had an average stop rate of 14.08%, contrasting with the previous auction's zero stop rates. The bid to cover ratio decreased by 0.50% to 1.38x. In the second auction on January 15, the average stop rate dropped 13.67%, with a bid to cover ratio increasing to 1.73x. In the final auction, both the average stop rate and the bid to cover ratio decreased to 13.50% and 1.53x respectively. In February, we anticipate mixed sentiment in the local stock market as investors react to the release of the 2023 financial year earnings. Ultimately, February's stock market performance will be heavily influenced by the disclosed earnings for 2023 financial year. In terms of equity strategy, we advise investors to strategically invest in stocks from sectors showing strong fundamentals, especially banking, oil and gas, and the industrial goods sectors. Looking at maturities, we expect 666 billion naira in NTBs to mature in February, along with a bond coupon payment of 114 billion naira. We anticipate that yields will remain high in February due to limited system liquidity and the upcoming NPC meeting. Thank you for your attention. We appreciate your time and engagement. Should you have any further inquiries or require additional information, please do not hesitate to contact your relationship managers or our customer care representatives. Success is not just about where you stand, but also about where you aim. Remember, we remain invested in your tomorrow. Until next time, take care.